I'm gonna take you guys on a journey through the craziest build hacks in my Minecraft history. These build hacks push the limits of what's possible in Minecraft. So stay tuned till the end of the video to get all my build hacks revealed. I found a town full of YouTubers houses. We have Preston's house, Dream's house, Bionic's house, Aphmau's house, and George Not Found. All of these YouTuber houses are absolutely beautiful, but I'm gonna go into each house and I'm gonna build hack and improve their homes. So this video is 25 build hacks you didn't know in Minecraft, YouTuber edition. Looking really nice, but he could definitely use some upgrades. He's got this big driveway, but no cool vehicles. Let's build him a quad bike. First thing we're gonna do is dig out four little holes like this. And then we're actually gonna dig down a little bit lower and we're gonna place some slabs down here you guys following me pretty simple then we're gonna go ahead and drop these dispensers here now this is not for the bike we're just trying to drop in some armor stands fill the dispensers with armor stands and then go ahead and spawn them in these are pretty much going to be the wheels for the bike go ahead and get rid of these guys and we're gonna drop some wither skeleton skulls on them <laughs> so these are the tires and then we're gonna do something pretty unique here we're gonna drop a piston behind these heads then a piece of redstone and it pushes them just like so. So it's gonna push that armor stand forward a little bit, move it to there. See, it's the small details that, oh, this one pushed back, eh? There we go, I got it, okay. Try deleting the piston, not the block. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, delete the piston, delete the piston. And then we have these armor stands that are moved a little bit. Wow, look at that. Then we're gonna do something really unique here. So we're gonna place a piston here, two pistons, and we're gonna drop these blocks on them just like so then we're gonna go ahead and drop them into the ground and then we're gonna go ahead and push them down one block further and then go ahead and delete these blocks and delete everything else and now it looks like these tires are sitting on the ground here we're gonna do the same thing on the other side as well boom there we go gonna go ahead and delete all of these Voila, that's your tires. Then we're gonna go ahead and put some crimson fence gates right here to connect them, kind of like the axles of the ATV. Then we're gonna drop a quartz slab on top and then a quartz slab right here and then a trap door right here. And then for our final touch, two in rods on the side and voila we have ourselves a quad bike. I know the tires were extremely hard to build, but it's all about that detail. For our next build hack, walking into Preston's house, it looks absolutely beautiful, but what is this empty ceiling, bro? I mean, I'm gonna say your kitchen is awesome. This is all amazing, but you need something on the ceiling. It's just really empty here. We're gonna place a chandelier right here. So we wanna center this with the table. So we wanna place it under this tree right here. So we're gonna go with the polished black stone wall. Then we're gonna drop some lightning rods all around it. Another lightning rod in the middle and then an end rod. But hold on, hold on. We're not done yet. We're gonna drop some in rods on all of these lightning rods. And then if you want to get really fancy with it, break these and flip them around like this and voila. So that way you have that bigger base at the ceiling. So it just looks a little more realistic. And that is our chandelier. Now that looks good. Now the kitchen is absolutely beautiful. You got decorations on the counter. It looks great, but I think you could use some bar stools right here. These bar stools are super easy to make. We're gonna place down some lightning rods and then some of these black stone pressure plates. And then we're gonna drop a sign on the back of them for the back of the chair just like so and look at that super easy to make super modern super clean and it fits the theme of this kitchen one thing that could give this backyard a nice touch is some fire torches what we're gonna do here is super cool and super easy we're gonna place up three blocks doesn't matter what block place a campfire on top delete all these blocks then we're gonna place some dripstone here dripstone here and then Place it one more time and look at that. You have these awesome lamps. I got a couple more of them around the backyard in these chairs and wow, it just changes the vibe of this place. Super, super cool. Going upstairs in Preston's house, here is the bedroom. Now this bedroom is super, super important and wow, it looks amazing. He's got his recording set up here. He's got an awesome bed, but the bed around it just looks kind of plain. We're gonna make some awesome custom carpet around this bed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down some signs and you can kind of do whatever you want with these signs, but this is the design that I'm gonna go with. I kind of want it to flow. So we're gonna do a little bit of this right here on the corners like that. And then 
We're gonna kind of make it flow and connect. Look at this, isn't that cool? And then we're gonna kind of make a little squiggly line right here with these. Here we go. Been doing the same thing on this side. Been doing the same thing on this side. Make this little squiggly line here. Kind of want those signs to connect. You gotta get them at the right angle just like so. All right, so now that we got all our signs in, the next part is super easy. We're just gonna go ahead and place some carpet over these signs. Now you wanna place it the block above. I'm pointing at the slab here. There we go. It's kind of precise when you place it. You gotta be careful. And almost done, almost done, almost done. Done. There we go. Look at that. The small little details. Now you got some awesome carpet. We went ahead and did the rest of the room. We got another little rug right here. Another rug over here with the seating area and bookshelf. And then also around his gaming studio is pretty sick. On to the next YouTuber's house. Now we're pulling up to Dream's house. First thing off the bat, this house is sick. But one thing that Dream needs right at his front door is a hoverboard. First thing we're going to do here is just like what we did with the ATV with the heads and push them together go ahead and drop in these armor stands get rid of these throw on these wither skulls and then we are going to push them in a little bit just like so and then we're going to do the same thing with the ground here go ahead and drop these bad boys down take them back drop them in again and then boom go ahead and delete all this delete the redstone delete it all there we go now you got your two tires just floating on the ground right there pushed into each other and then what we're gonna do next is actually place down some snow so we can get to that perfect height. You want the tires to peek out a little bit, just like a hoverboard, then you can hop on it and boom, got yourself a hoverboard. Whee! Walking inside Dream's house, this place is absolutely stunning. I mean, let me say, this kitchen is awesome. I love the green, the dining room, the vines coming down, the chandelier, he's got the chandelier. But there is one thing that is missing. This place doesn't have a trash can. That is exactly what we're gonna make right now is a trash can. This is super simple, but when you place a trash can like this, it just, it looks kind of ugly. We're gonna surround these with pictures, just like so, and then go ahead and throw throw a lid and then you can open it and then throw your stuff right in get rid of it and close the lid you got a fancy looking trash can coming upstairs in dream's house wow this place is spectacular i love the chandeliers everything just fits so well but when you walk out here it kind of feels a little empty right here we need like a we need like a table or something a lot of empty space right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down four chains then we're gonna drop some pressure plates right on top to make that table then with some white quartz we're gonna do a little seating area Area, just like so and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side there we go look at that not too much not too little nice seating area fills it in walking into dreams office this place is awesome but the thing is is when he's playing minecraft he needs to practice trick shots in real life we need a target right there we're gonna make a really cool target on this wall so dream can always practice his trick shots so we're gonna throw the target block right in the middle but that's too plain we can spice it up a little bit we're gonna drop two buttons on the side and then some glowing item frames and then some arrows in those item frames look at that we can go ahead and turn those arrows we can point them any way we want i'm gonna point them down because they look really cool wow look at that target right above the couch dream definitely got some upgrades today let's check out his backyard everything is filled in really really nicely even this massive window right here is awesome but the oh the pool the pool Oh, bro, you need an inflatable swan. To build this inflatable swan, we're gonna make a little L just like so to start off. And then we're gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then we're gonna put a button there for the eye. Why, look at that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So these are basically his wings, drop his eye on there and then his beak on the front. There we go, look at that. We have an inflatable swan in the pool to top it off. All right, let's go to the next YouTuber's house. Now we're pulling up to George Not Fat house now I don't think George is gonna be found in this house unfortunately he doesn't live here but we're gonna go inside and see what improvements he could use oh first off look at the lamps coming up the walkway I approve okay you don't need anything outside your front yard is beautiful right when we walk in oh oh this is not good beautiful living room awesome looking kitchen but bro where is your lamp set? I got you, I got you fam, don't worry. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super easy lamp. So pretty much you go up with two end rods, you drop down some gel bars, and then you throw signs 
all around. Now, it's not actually a lamp that lights up, but it's all for the looks, and it looks pretty good. We got another one over here as well. It's just a nice little touch for the corner of your couch. George has done a beautiful job decorating this house. He's even got the bar stools, but there's no backs on the bar stools, but I'll, I'll take it. It's still bar stools. Walking over into the dining room. Ooh, okay, this wall. Looks like it needs something. I don't like how this is empty right here. I do like the chandelier up there and whatever that is. Some type of clock, I think. All right. And we even got the curtains on the side. The detail, bro. All right. What can we do right here? I'm just going to throw something up on the wall and make a little random design here. What if we do some of this deep slate or like this? Then we finish it off with some diamonds, and then throw some terracotta blocks in there, okay? You don't need something super fancy, but it's just something to fill the room. That actually looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Wow! What? Look at this place! What a beautiful backyard, and there's another story down here? Wow, it's perfectly decorated. There's a stove, there's a bar with bar stool. What if we build this helicopter right over the pool, eh? All right, so we need one block and then a slab and then another block. So you're gonna start off with a base just like this. Then we're gonna place some glass, another slab, and then we're gonna place these trap doors. And then we're gonna place two on the side back here, just like so. And another one on the other side. Okay, okay, you guys following me? You seeing how it's starting to look like a helicopter? Not really, it looks like a giant bee. Okay, all right, we'll make it look prettier. Watch this. All right, we're about to make this boy look like a helicopter. We got this, we got a button back here and then we're gonna do a little bit of this ready look at it uh-huh uh-huh you're probably like unspeakable what are you building i know i know does it look like a helicopter now aha uh -huh, yeah it's like a little drone extra detail throw some levers on the side and there we go voila you have your helicopter. Even though this backyard is absolutely beautiful, I'm still sensing a little bit of an empty area over here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make some really cool bushes like these. What you're gonna do is super, super simple. Build up four blocks and then delete one of these blocks and place some glow berries right here. Then we're gonna place warp trap doors all around. Now you can use any trap door, honestly. The warp trap doors just kind of fit the theme of this house. And voila, you have a beautiful tree. Build a couple more of these around the pool and they start looking good. You can also mix it up and you can start throwing some flowering blocks in there too. Ah, very nice. And then make a little chair with some sea pickles and then some lounge chairs and some cool lamps and voila, you have the best pool ever. Heading upstairs, going up to George's bedroom. This bedroom is perfect. He's got awesome stuff on the ground. Really, really furry carpet, by the way. But this wall is feeling kind of empty. We're going to throw a guitar on this wall. This is something super, super cool you can do, and it's really easy. To start off with the guitar, you're going to place these warped uh, blocks. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh, my bad. Not a trap door there. We're going to put a trap door right there. Yeah, there we go. Then we're gonna place a skeleton skull right here. The reason I'm above it is because you want it to be backwards like that. We don't wanna see the face of that skeleton. And this is where the build hack comes in. You're gonna type in this command and it's gonna give you an invisible item frame because item frames look ugly. So when we place this one's down, it's gone. And then we can grab our music disc and throw it right there so it looks like it's floating on the guitar. Now, if you did this with a normal item frame, it would look like this and it just, it just doesn't look as good as the invisible one. There we go, look at that. And you can use these invisible item frames, honestly, for a lot of things. I mean, you could place two of them down and just, you could put anything on the wall. Let's actually throw some swords in there, that'd be cool, yeah. See, that looks sick. Oh, that's awesome. Now we're going up to Athmau's house. This house is absolutely stunning. I love all the colors and oh, look at this leading into the garden. This is super, super cool. Walking in here, I love this front door with a lightning rod, some carpet. Wow, she has done an amazing job with this place. We're gonna go straight into the backyard, honest. Oh, yeah, I see some issues here. 
I definitely, definitely am seeing some problems here. There's a lot of empty space. It looks like there should be something here, but there's not, which gives us plenty of room to build stuff. We're first gonna start off with something next to these chairs. These chairs look literally so plain and so boring next to each other. Let's build an umbrella between them. We're gonna take a blackstone wall and then a crimson fence, another blackstone wall, and then this wax oxidized cut copper slab. Sounds real fancy, but honestly, you can use any slab you want. And then we're gonna build off of it just like this, and then build under it just like so, and then we're going to extend these sides just like this. So that way the top of it should look kind of like this. And then we're gonna take some of this moss carpet, this stuff is my favorite, and we're just gonna drop it on top of here. Wow, that actually looks really, really good. I really like that. And we built a couple more as well. These are kind of using different blocks, but these look really, really good as well. We're gonna build two things over here. We're gonna build a gazebo and we're gonna build like a big waterfall lamp looking thing. First, we're gonna build this cool waterfall lamp looking thing. I'm actually gonna build this outside here. It is kind of big and I don't want it to feel too crammed back there. It would look really good in this backyard, but I just wanna build it because this thing this thing is just cool. I want to build it. So pretty simple here. We're gonna build straight up so far so good This thing is you know very very basic then we're gonna place these stairs here Just like so now you guys can use any blocks you want honestly Then we're gonna place some more stairs up here This is just two blocks up and then we're gonna place another one of these slabs right there All right, you guys following me pretty simple so far then we're gonna take these walls and put them right here. And then we're gonna take these end rods and put them right here. And then you're gonna dig out the middle and this is gonna be where our water goes. So go ahead and grab a bucket of water and... Oh snap, that was the wrong place to put it. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh flip, okay. All right, all right, everything's okay. Everything's okay, everything's fine. Okay, so one way to do this without spawning the water on top is to place down a slab and then drop in the water. There we go, all right. So you have your fancy light post water looking thing. It's pretty cool, honestly. Now we're gonna make a really cool gazebo. So you're gonna take drip leaves, you're gonna put them on each side. We're gonna go three blocks up just like so. Pretty simple so far. Then we're gonna take some warp trap doors and these, these are going to connect all of the drip leaves, just like this. Bum, 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 bum. All right, you guys follow me? Pretty simple so far. And now we're gonna do something weird. We're gonna put four campfires on top. Then we're gonna use a shovel to put out the fire because honestly, we're only using it because we like the way these blocks look. We don't actually want the fire. And then for the seating area down here, we're gonna take some of these crimson stairs and then we're gonna take more of the drip leaves and make a little table out of them like this. Aha! This place is looking pretty nice. For the final touch, we're gonna take some glow berries and put them on the warped trap doors. And then we're gonna take two spore blossoms and throw them right here for the entrance. Now we have this awesome, just magical gazebo. This place is so, so cool. If you wanna go extra and over the top, you can even throw some stuff on the table, of course. There we go, we'll throw some turtle eggs on there. Heading upstairs to Aphmau's room, this place is already looking so, so good, but this area is feeling very, very dead. This place looks awesome. She has a little mirror here. We have an awesome, awesome balcony with some hanging plants looking over at Preston's house. But this, this needs something cool. We're gonna make a super, super cool chair. We're gonna build this like a king's chair, just like this and drop a slab in the middle. <laughs> and then we're just gonna cover this thing in amethyst clusters. So we'll place one here. Now I have large ones and I also have the huge ones. So we'll, we'll stick to these large ones on the side and then we'll throw the big ones up here. Oh, that looks cool. Throw another small one right here. Then we'll throw these smaller ones on the side. And look at that, wow, that is such a cool chair. And to top it off, we can grab a banner and we can throw it right here. There we go, so we have a back for the chair. Next to Aphmau's bed, she has this picture right here and it looks great, but it just feels kind of empty on this wall. You know when you put a painting on the wall and you're like, huh, 
Okay, the painting looks good, but it, the wall still feels empty. I'm gonna show you guys how to spice it up a little bit. So you're gonna go ahead and type in that command that gives you this invisible item frame. Once you get the invisible item frame, we're gonna go ahead and place them all around here. And then to spice it up a little bit, we can drop some stuff around here, just like so. And then we can also turn it. Let's make these flowers go away from this little portrait. There we go. And we can kind of turn these a little bit as well so they are all going out. And look at that! There we go! Now that painting on the wall doesn't look as boring. Now we're walking up to Bionic's house. This is my buddy's house. And also, bro, I love this tree in the front yard. This thing is awesome. It is massive. It is a huge statement piece. Let's walk in your house and see what we can improve. Ooh. I already see some things, but I will say I love this carpet. I love this living room. Look at this lamp over here with the with the eggs. So far, so good, my dude. This place looks awesome. But as any other YouTuber would know, you need a coffee machine. Now, unfortunately, your kitchen doesn't have enough room for a coffee machine. So I think we can put it, what if we put it right over here? To make this coffee table, we're gonna place some blackstone and then some polished blackstone burrito brick stairs, just like so. Then we're gonna place some gray concrete on the side and then tinted glass. Yeah, I didn't even know this was a thing. And then an observer block, just like so. So this is the beginning of our coffee machine. Now we're gonna go ahead and place two glow item frames, a lever, turn it down, and then, hold on, forgot one more. Forgot this, we're gonna do an iron trap door and this is gonna be like your button and then we're gonna place a sign on it just like so. Ha <laughs> ha, we're getting fancy, aren't we boys? Then we're gonna go ahead and place some cocoa beans up there in that item frame and then a flower pot as your cup of coffee and voila! You got a coffee machine, super easy to build, and it really fills that little corner in your house. And also your guests that are chilling here can now be like, huh, I want some coffee. Honestly, the downstairs is good. I wouldn't add anything more. This place looks great. This, I love this bookshelf right here too. That's really cool. Let's head upstairs and see what we got going on up here. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at the invisible item frames going around this painting. Okay, okay. I love this right here. Look at the way that this opens up. Instead of just doing like normal blocks like that, they spiced it up a little bit. Oh, wow. This place honestly is phenomenal. Wow. I will say one thing that it could use in this room is a little touch of something on the ceiling. The walls, the ground, everything is perfect. But the ceiling, you look up and you're like, ha. Ah. <laughs> That's kind of boring. What if we put some fans up there? I think that would be a be a nice touch. Gonna teach you guys how to make two really cool fans. So we're gonna place blackstone brick. Then you're gonna place a chain and then a iron trap door. And then above that trap door, we are going to place these other trap doors that are different. And voila, you have a ceiling fan. It's very, very simple, honestly. We're gonna go ahead and do another one right here. And voila, look at that. That just like completely changes the space and the vibe. I love it. Ceiling fans in Minecraft. Throw one of these in your bedroom as well. Also, I just want to point out that this recording room is absolutely sick. He's got his YouTube plaques on the wall. Look at these screens. Got the camera, got the lights and the speakers. Bro. This, this is sick. This is, oh, wow. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to dig and then we need a slab right here. Then we're gonna place a dispenser right here and then put an armor stand in it and then spawn it in. I know, you guys are like, yo, what, what in the world are you doing, Unspeakable? Watch! We're gonna go ahead and get rid of and remove this block and then you're gonna drop a diamond helmet on there and look at that. And then if you wanna get extra fancy, drop a banner, look at that. You have just upgraded your basic toilet. You now have an actual toilet with the, with the water in the middle, dude, that's sick! That looks really, really good. It also looks like your toilet has legs. Let's go into the backyard. What do we got here? Okay. Not too bad. I love the trees. They're nice. I love the diving boards. There's some like pool floaties in the pool, but what is all this empty space over here? You know what? Let's have some fun. I'm gonna show you guys how to build a trampoline and an air hockey table. 
All right, we're gonna start off with the base of the trampoline here. There we go, okay, okay. So well, you want it to be something like this, right? Something like this, you can make it a lot bigger or a lot smaller, totally up to you. And then we're gonna place slime blocks all in the middle. And then we're gonna place carpet over those slime blocks to cover them up. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Look at that, look at that. A lot of trampolines have like those nets around them. So we're gonna make a really, really cool net. We're gonna start off with yellow and then we're gonna transition into red and then go into green and then blue. Look at that. And then we're gonna go ahead and just go up from there. And boom, voila, you have your trampoline, but it's not done, hold on. It's it's floating, it's floating. We're gonna go around the corners of the trampoline and place some lightning rods as legs. There we go, just to make it seem a little bit more legit. Place a couple more legs on the front here. All right, so you have your trampoline legs and then you can drop in your ladder, so that way you can hop in the trampoline. Awesome, that's a nice backyard touch. Now, air hockey table. Yes. All right, so for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place some blocks down and then we're gonna do stairs on one side and stairs on the other side. Pretty simple, so it should look something like this. Then we're gonna dig underground, place a slab right here, cover it up, and then we're gonna drop in a dispenser, if I can place it right, there we go. Then dropping an armor stand in there and then go ahead and spawn it in just like so. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make a slab there. Drop in a dispenser, drop in an armor stand, cover that back up, spawn in the dispenser, delete all that. And then this is where it gets exciting. So you have your two armor stands that are in the blocks. You're gonna go ahead and drop a glow item frame on each of them. And then we're gonna drop a wool block on this one, and then another one on this one. We're doing red versus yellow. What, doesn't that look so cool? So this is your hockey puck, and then, we're gonna drop some snow around these guys. Then we're gonna drop some carpet in the middle here. We're gonna drop some more snow on these. There we go, look at that, what? <laughs> we're not done yet. We're gonna drop some blackstone brick walls on the side. Then we're gonna go up with these glass panes and over. There we go, look at that. And then to touch it off, we're gonna do a glowstone, an iron trap door, flip it around, and then drop a banner on it. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. Boom, voila, you have your air hockey table. And this thing honestly looks really good. Now this will go great inside, in a game room, honestly anywhere. There is three houses. Shark, Moose, and myself are each gonna pick a house and we have to decorate this house. But it just needs a little bit more in the front. It just feels like um, it needs a tree. That's what it needs. Let's see if we can get a big tree out of this boy, okay? We're just gonna cover this up a little bit. We want a big tree to grow. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanna see. All right, with this big tree, we are going to build something special here. Let me just extend these branches branches a little bit. We're gonna go out a little bit this way. What we're actually gonna build right here is going to be a little swing set with lightning rods. Now, a lot of things we're gonna be building is with the new 1.17 update, so I'm super hyped. All right, and then go under here, place some trap doors, and then we're gonna place some trap doors on, whoa, nope, nope, there we go. Place a moss carpet right there, another trap door right there, and Boom, boys, look at that. You have a floating little bench. That is so cool. Another thing this house really needs is a pathway. We need a pathway to get to the front door. So let's rip up all this grass and replace it with these quartz blocks. All right, we're now gonna throw some azalea blocks down. These are honestly my favorite. They're so cool. And then we're going to finish them off with some bushes. And if you wanna add a little bit more of a touch, you can take these lightning rods and throw some lanterns on top and you have little lantern stands. What if we go for something a little bit darker, like the deep slate wall? Ooh, that already looks so much better with all the white that this house has. That looks really good. We need to do that ugly staircase. Yeah, that's, the sandstone's gotta go. I've, I've never really liked building with sandstone. It just doesn't look that good to me. Now I gotta say, 
say I am in love. That looks a lot better in my opinion. I think the roof could use some improvements, but we only got so much time to build. So let's go inside the house and start building stuff in these rooms because this place is completely empty, bro. Look at this. Okay, right from the entryway, we're gonna place down some of these flowering blocks and then some of these moss carpets right next to it. And we have a little walkway that is going to lead us right outside. Just throw something on the floor, change it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do here is place down some amethyst blocks and then we're gonna do an amethyst cluster going around. There we go. Now we have a big fancy chandelier. Look at that! That look, okay. That is actually pretty cool. That looks really good. Some other cool lights we can do is we can throw down some lightning rods and then do the spore blossom. They don't really emit a lot of light, but they just look really, really cool. And honestly, it's a good spot for them right here where the kitchen's gonna be. Okay, it is time to make a dining room table. I think it's fair to put it right here since it's kind of next to the kitchen and the living room hangs out over here. Don't know if this is too wide. Ah, honestly, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna cover this table with trap doors, just like so. Then we're gonna replace the underneath with this chiseled black stone. I really like the way this looks with these trap doors. And then for the chairs, we're gonna go around the table. We're gonna place these brick slabs. There we go. Ooh, these are not even. I don't like this. Okay, I think we need to shorten the table just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that way these can be even. Okay, that looks a lot better. We're gonna grab some carpet and actually lay it around the table like this. There we go. Then you have that black stone that kind of bleeds through. That looks really cool. And if you want to go a little bit over the top with it, I got some other ideas. Check this out. We can throw some amethyst crystals on the side. We could throw a cake right here in the middle with a candle on top, or you could get rid of these crystals and you could do lightning rods and then throw some candles on there as well. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. For our sofas, we're gonna do something a little bit custom. We have a mod installed where you can actually put in emerald in an anvil. Let's type in light gray spruce sofa. We'll do sofa number two and look at that. We actually get a sofa, but we have to place them in an item frame. So it's kind of weird, but we can flip them around. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool though. There we go. So we got our two sofas right there that are placed with this little mod. Honestly, kind of cool. We're also going to grab a stove out of here. So we have a white stove. I think we're going to place it right here. Oh, now the stove is actually a really good place to hide our hidden chest. So check this out, guys. All right, so if we go ahead and put a sign right here and then drop our item frame on the side and then put our stove in here, it is now used as a secret entrance to drop in here. <laughs> That's cool. And if we want to go a little bit crazier with it, we can actually put a trap door right here so people will just walk right over it so check this out okay so i closed the trap door so now you can walk right over it and you don't even know it's there but if you click you can open the trap door and then fall in <laughs> oh yes all right dropping some diamonds in here real quick Let's fill up this chest there we go so transform this room a little bit we got a ladder now a chest armor stands and we can hop right out of here just like so let's make sure we get that closed all right now it's time to head upstairs we got to do something with a bedroom or a bathroom we need a bathroom as well okay so here we go okay so we got three rooms up here so this one's small so this one should be the bathroom this is going to be an office and then this over here will be the bedroom. Perfect. Okay, so we'll place down some beds. Let's grab an anvil, drop a emerald into it, and we're gonna call this emerald nightstand. And it's gonna give me some nightstands. We're gonna place down the item frames and drop the nightstands in just like so. Fancy, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We need a lamp on these nightstands. All right, so we got some glowstone dust and we're gonna do white table lamp. There we go. We got two white table lamps. Let's go ahead and play. Whoa. Okay. 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 You got to do it like there we go. That's better. Let's actually, you know what? Let's get a little fancy with it. Let's do a glowing item frame right here just because these look really cool and then we'll drop our lamps in them. Yes. That looks really good. I like it. You guys know I love my carpet. Let's just go ahead and do this whole room and carpet. Why not? It's a bedroom. Carpet is comfy. We're gonna throw down a bunch of white carpet. I don't wanna do any crazy colors, but there we go. That looks really good. Keeping the bedroom pretty, pretty simple. Moving on to the bathroom. Let's do a dark oak toilet. Oh, wait, hold on. I spelled toilet wrong. 
toilet. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got a dark oak toilet. We'll go ahead and plop her down right there. Beautiful. Dark oak mirror for the wall here. Here we go. Bam, look at that. All right, bathroom is complete. Let's do a dark oak desk. Here we go, beautiful. Let's throw it over here in this corner. Oh, awesome. Let's do a laptop as well. And we'll throw that right on, ooh, flip it around. There we go, we got a laptop right on the desk. Another slab with some candles in the corner. Gotta love the candles, they just fill up a room. Let's also do a white standing lamp. So also go ahead and throw it in this corner. Awesome, okay, office is complete, it looks good. Now that I'm thinking about the outside of the house, guys, the front yard just seems really, really empty to me. So I think we should put a pond in the front yard. Everyone loves water, it looks really good, so let's do it. We're actually gonna go pretty crazy on this pond, I'm not gonna lie. Let's do an island in the middle and we'll do a bridge going to it. All right, you guys know I love my lightning rods, so we are going to do something pretty cool here. We are going to do a lightning rod. Look at this. We are going to make a bridge with the lightning rods. Pretty much just place down some lightning rods, then place down some slabs, and then boom, look at that. We got a little bridge that goes over to our island. Now guys, check this out. I'm gonna make you guys a palm tree. So place down some of this moss block, place down some dripstone, and then connect it right here and then build off of this moss block and basically make yourself a little palm tree. There we go, so we have a pond, but we're not done with the pond. I have some other ideas. Okay, so over here we can drop in some blocks and we can pretty much place some candles on them. Now you can go pretty much as crazy as you want with the candles, totally up to you, but then delete these blocks and we are going to put sugar cane under them. Look at that. There we go. The front of this house looks magical. It looks so much better than it did before. All right, now we just gotta do the kitchen and finish up the living room and we'll be done. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of these couches. They just look, uh, they just, they just make this room look really bad. I gotta get rid of these. We're gonna build our own custom couches that look a lot better. And I'm actually gonna face them this way. I really, I don't know, I don't like the, I, I don't like the way the TV looked on the wall either. So we're just gonna make one big couch. Trying to drop it this way like that. We'll throw some snow in the middle. Check this out guys. And then we'll do this. There we go. I love the way this couch looks. That looks so cool. We can actually extend this out and make it an L if we want to. So we can bring the snow all the way through. And then for a coffee table right here, I'm gonna do something really cool. We're gonna throw down some turtle eggs and some candles, and then we're going to delete them. And we're gonna place two drip leaves, one going this way and the other two going this way, just like so. Now you have a pretty cool coffee table. Check it out. Then in the background here, I'm actually gonna use these weathered cut copper slabs and copper stairs to make a cool little art piece or a shelf in the back. Okay, designing it a little bit differently, but there we go. What about that? That's pretty cool. And then to make it look a little bit better, we can throw some candles on it, throw a flower pot with a flower and then throw some turtle eggs here and there. Okay, now this house is looking good. I think our house is done. I think it's ready. I think it's got some pretty good secrets hidden within. Let's see if the boys can find my secrets, but also let's see how they like my decorations. I think I did a pretty good job, guys. Remember guys, let us know in the comment section below, who do you think made the best house? Not only the best hidden base, but also the best house overall. Here we are, boys. Are you guys ready to see each other's houses? Timer is I so. up. Yo, I can see y'all's houses is that right your, now. Is that your over there on the right side? Is that your place? Yeah, dude. You guys didn't do anything Yo, to your front bro. yard? I know. What? I'm no, bro. On the inside. Listen, <laughs> you know, I totally didn't film for 35 minutes and not record my audio, you know? Oh. Like, totally didn't happen, you know? All right, uh, George, you want to take you want to take a look at your house first? Let's go. All right, come yeah, on, yeah, come yeah, on, boys. Let me show you how right. it's done. Welcome to my crib. I don't have a car. It blew up again, so... Uh, I like the garage. Right inside. Okay, so boom, Whoa. welcome to my living room. 
Okay. It's gonna be the dining table, aquarium. Okay. Ooh, you know, the usual. I like the aquarium. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Like the shower. Diamond toilet? Yo, wait, okay. I really like the stove. <laughs> no. I really like right? this. Right? This is, this is it's nice. that diamond. This hey! Nice. Oh, hey, hey, sir! Your oh. shirt is upside down. Are you kidding me? Uh, no need to be flipping uh, my stoves around. A lot of knowledge so, up in this bathroom. Yeah, little, little, little. Whoa! Oh! What the flip did that chest just do? I like the bed. A lot right? of diamonds in here. Got the wardrobe up in here. Very, wow. very oh, nice. Oh, oh, what oh, the oh, heck is oh, this? Oh, Why do we oh, all have oh, SWD oh, on? Oh, what the oh, heck oh, is oh, these oh, troll oh, chests, oh, bro? All right, let's take a look at Shark's house, ladies and okay, gentlemen. Yeah, come on in. Uh, that, okay. I'm kind of embarrassed, not gonna lie. Come on in. This right. is my this is living room. Like a vibe, bro. This okay. is my living room not here. Bad. Kind of nice. Vibe. What do you mean, bro? Look at this. You put a tree in your house. Why did you? Why do, not? Why did you do that? Does it grow through the <laughs> ceiling? <laughs> Does it, uh, just keep, does it just keep going? No. You know, it's no? a design no, flaw. Um, just let it happen. It, it, thank, thank you. Okay. All right, no, take, I'm me upstairs, upstairs, guys, take me upstairs. Take me upstairs. What do we got? What do we got? So, uh, nothing too crazy. It's honestly nowhere near. I like the detailed. overlooking of the emptiness. I like. You know, I like the greenery. I like what you do with this wall. This looks nice. Thank this you. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Was this was this already here, or did you build this? I built that. I built okay, that. Okay, okay, very impressive. Yeah. Nice, this nice, is the master nice. suite. Uh, you know, just wanted to add Dude, some unique, nice, uh, unique colors. Okay. To it. We got a big uh, patio you know. too. I know, big, right? Oh, it's a big it's a... balcony. I like the balcony. Seriously, don't do not open. enter this. Room. Don't, uh, don't go into that room. Oh, and you open it. Okay, why? Yeah. Oh, why? Why? What is this? No, no, oh, why? Do you <laughs> ten out of ten. All right. Boys, come over oh to the house. Goodness, Let me Nathan. introduce you to the like start the, uh, of the, the house. Thank you, thank flex. you, thank you. All right, so this first off, beautiful. we got a little island right here. You can come chill. Wow. We got our beautiful oh. palm tree. Yeah, don't fall. Be work. careful, be careful. <laughs> if we come over here to the front, we have a lot of detail. We have a little bench Wait, over here that, is that you can a plum sit. tree? A that what? was a palm tree. It is a palm is this tree. This is a plum? Oh, no, palm. Oh, they said palm tree. I'm sorry. Like the palm of your hand. Like my palms? Yes. You know what I mean? Like, All right, beautiful. beautiful. So beautiful entrance coming into the house. As you guys walk into the house, it's pretty okay. open. So we no, got the couch on and here. sofa over here. We got the it's kitchen holy. that's really open. And then we got the dining room as well. All right, so going okay, upstairs, we have these upstairs. beautiful oh. chandeliers oh, wow. up top. Wow. And then if I we head over here, this is my master bedroom. <laughs> I wanted to keep it very, very simple because like my own oh, master wait. bedroom, wait. I like it super simple. Will they find the secret chest? Will they find the secret uh, chest? Oh my God. Will they find the secret chest? Wait, is it on the outside? Ah, oh, oh, you it. noob! No! Oh, you would, diamonds, you would turn the stove. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cheeky spot, dude. Yeah, That's a it good is. spot. Yeah, it is. Oh my God. If gosh. you wouldn't have turned the stove, you would have never found it. Let's say you got a Minecraft house and you're like unspeakable. It's boring. <laughs> well, that is why I'm here today and that's probably why you clicked on this video. Today I'm going to teach you guys 20 of the best building hacks for your house inside and out. These right here are pool floaties guys. These are so easy to make. Just place down some trap doors underneath and then some carpet on top and we have a pool ducky right here. Then over here we have a more colorful floaty. This one's also very very simple. It's just some stained glass and some glass panes and you can just use different colors throughout and you can use honestly any colors you want. Next, this one is my favorite. This is a water slide. It kind of looks like one of those inflatable water slides that you would get for like a birthday party, but why not have one in your backyard? And if you want to get extra creative with it, you could even attach this to your pool. This water slide is super, super simple to make. You're pretty much going to place down a bunch of blocks and make a staircase going up it. And then you're going to place blocks down in the middle. Make sure they're just one block lower than the side so it keeps the water in. And then that is pretty much it placed down your water and boom voila very very simple and also if you're gonna build a water slide i mean come on just connect it to your pool. It's gonna be sick. This one right here is super simple. It's a little gate just going into your garden. You see, with building hacks and building things in your Minecraft world and on your house, it's all about the small things. It's the small things that make the biggest details and the biggest differences. So this is one of those small things. Basically what we have here is we have big drip leaves on the side. We got a spore blossom in the middle and then a trap door on top. It's super, super easy to make. A nice little entrance to go into your garden. 
garden. Then over here we have a peacock. This one is a little more advanced, obviously, but it's pretty simple. We got some terracotta blocks and some concrete for his body. We got a fence gate that is open for his legs. Then we got a slab for his nose. And then we have a white stained glass pane in an item frame with a button on top for his eye. Then on top of his head, we got some warped roots and a flower pot. And then for the peacock kind of feathers out the back, we have tons of warped trap doors with buttons on top. Now we're moving on inside of the house to our left here. We have this really cool little farm system. I thought this was just so, so cool. It looks like a little map of the nether, even with a little nether portal right there. For the ground, we're gonna place some warped blocks and then leave some room in the middle because we're gonna place some lava. Then around all the edges, we're gonna place the warped trap doors. And on the ground here, you can kind of configure it wherever you like. You can put the trees and the roots wherever you like. We have some warped roots and some twisted vines. Then we have some crimson fences sitting on the warped wart block for the trees. You're also probably curious and speakable, how do you make the magenta banner that is a nether portal. Pretty simple. All you need is some purple play, purple field mason, black bordeaux, and black fess. And you take all of that and configure it into a banner and it actually makes a mini little nether portal. I mean, it's just a random piece that you throw into a corner where you don't know what to put in that corner and you're just like, I don't know what to put here in my house. This is what goes here. Like I said, guys, it's about the small things that you never touch. Walking through the rest of the house, you guys can just see the amount of detail that is in each and every room that just makes this house go wow. As we walk into this room, something unique I like is not only the carpet, but also this little air conditioning vent that is on the wall. It's really cool and super, super easy to make. We have two looms that are behind here, and then we have a quartz stair, a quartz slab, and then a quartz block with some trap doors underneath and then a button on the side. It looks like an AC unit, and it honestly just fills the space. It looks really, really cool. If you have another wall and you're like, it's speakable, I don't know what to do with this wall. What do I do? Go ahead and just build this awesome bookshelf. It looks so, so good. And you can use any type of block you want. We use quartz slab just because there is a lot of white in this house and it just looks really good against the floors, but pretty simple. Behind it, I want you to take out that wall and put down a bunch of bookshelves. And then pretty much you're gonna take down quartz slabs and quartz stairs and just go across, then go up, then go across, just like so. And then on the side, you're going to place these little steps that come out. And you can put anything on these steps. I have flowers, a lantern, I have a flowering pot, I have some sea pickles. You can throw whatever you want on there. It could be a skeleton head, a dragon head, anything. I love this. It fills the room really, really well. It also fits really nice in a living room with a couch. Walking upstairs in this house, this is my favorite part of the house. I'm going to show you guys how to make a lot of things in this room. This is probably the sickest master bedroom I have ever seen in Minecraft. But we're going to start over here with this computer setup. First to build this, you actually have to take two armor stands, drop one down, and then drop another one on top of each other and make sure they're wearing black dyed leather tunics. So we're basically going to put those in the ground and that is going to be the wheels of the chair. Then above that, we have a polished blackstone slab and then a crimson finske and a crimson trap door and boom, you have an awesome computer chair. Okay, a computer chair is cool, but you definitely need a monitor. And let me tell you, this monitor looks so cool. Look at how good the monitor stand looks and everything. All right, so to make this, it's also pretty simple. You're gonna throw up two armor stands on the side and you're gonna use redstone pistons to basically push them in together because obviously you can't place two armor stands on the same block and turn them. That's kind of difficult. So you gotta use pistons to push them together, get them to float down, and and then pretty much you're just gonna place some blackstone slabs on top of those to finish off your widescreen monitor. Then you can add some little touches to the side. For example, we have a blackstone pressure plate. We have a button, a crimson button for the mouse. We also have a polished blackstone slab with a banner inside of it for, I guess, kind of a printer. Then over here, we have a cyan shield inside an item frame as kind of like another computer mouse over there. And then just a little cactus to throw on the desk. I mean, you can kind of do whatever you want 
want on the rest of the desk but i think this is just so so cool and honestly it's a must for a house i mean every house has got to have a good computer come on how are we gonna play minecraft <laughs> going into the gaming room you guys will love this one we have some among us characters that we can make and throw up in our house this first character we have over here is really simple it's just red concrete then twisted vines on top for his head now honestly you guys can get creative with these among us characters and make them however you want make some yellow ones make some green ones do whatever you know put different flower pots on their head honestly they will come out really really good no matter what next over here we have a massive speaker or i guess some people call it a boom box this one is also pretty simple to make you're pretty much going to place down two black concrete blocks on each side and then in the middle you're going to place a loom and a stone cutter and then we're going to place a glowing item frame on each of the sides four of them and then go ahead and place different colored glass panes in the item frames now honestly so you can pick any color you want and then you're gonna put a button on there as well and there we go you have a fancy boom box unfortunately it doesn't play any music but it does look good now we have some lightsabers now i just randomly threw these down i honestly think you should like put them closer to a wall or maybe in a case or something cool but these are super easy to make i mean just place down a lightning rod just like so and then place some stained glass on top and boom you have a lightsaber obviously you can do any color you want but I just thought these were really cool to throw around your house especially if you're a huge Star Wars fan this right here is an ironing board I thought this was pretty cool to throw maybe near your closet or something you know when you're getting ready you gotta iron those clothes so pretty much we have a trap door an iron trap door and then we have rails that lead up to it for the stand laid down some carpet on top you can use any color you want and then another trap door at the head of the ironing board pretty cool I'd probably throw this near your closet if you just have some extra room. If you have some patio space and you already threw down a couch, maybe some hanging plants and a coffee table, and you're like, bro, I just don't know what to do. It kind of looks lame. Well, build a barbecue pit. Everyone loves to cook food outside, so why not bring a barbecue pit to your own house? Now, this one is a little bit more complicated to build, but trust me, once you get it built, it's completely worth it because it looks so, so good. In the back here, we have some polished blackstone blocks sitting next to some blackstone walls. Then on top of that, we have some blackstone brick stairs with some dark oak trap doors on the side. And then in the middle, we have a smithing table. We actually have two of them here. And on the side, we have some more blackstone slabs. Then we have a red banner with an item frame showing through and then we have two more item frames on the side We actually have a trident and one of those item frames kind of resenting a fork And then we have another item frame on the side with a chicken inside of it because that is your food <laughs> But there you go voila a barbecue grill on your patio You could also put this by the pool or something, but honestly, oh it tastes so good. Next up outside, we have a basketball net. Now, obviously you wanna throw this on a basketball court or you could just throw it in your front yard. Doesn't really matter. But if you wanna get real fancy with it and make a whole basketball court, that would be pretty sick. Pretty much what we have here is we have a brick wall placed on some spruce fences with another brick wall. And then we have a bunch of different colored stained glass. We start off with red on the target. Then we move to light gray and then we move to white stained glass on the outside. Then we have crimson trap doors doors basically creating a little square here for the goal and then a cobweb in the middle to kind of slow down the balls like a net would very very cool super easy to build and it just looks great this next one is a bike it looks kind of weird but i gotta admit it does look like a bike i would throw this maybe in your front yard maybe in your garage if you have a garage this one is just super super cool it's really easy to make you just have two grindstones for the tire you have a dark oak fence gate for the middle and then a dark oak trap door on the back for the seat and then for the handlebars you have a spruce fence with two lightning rods coming out the side and boom you have a bicycle last but not least for our last building hack we have a bouncy house i recommend putting this somewhere near your slide probably in the backyard but we can run up on here and we have literally a bouncing house that allows us to just keep bouncing it's really really cool and you and your friends are gonna have a lot of fun with it pretty much underneath here it's super super simple we have one piece of redstone and then one sticky 
sticky piston that basically holds together all of the slime blocks. So when you step on this one little pressure plate right here, pretty much gonna make you go bouncy bouncy. Then we have some glazed terracotta going around the side. And then on the sides, we have some yellow concrete with a bunch of wool blocks and some more orange concrete. Just a bunch of different colors, making it fun on the sides around the house. Now you could pretty much go with any color you want, honestly. For the floors, you could change it up a little bit. You could change up the side walls. We also have some signs. And then up here, we kind of made it look like a castle because a lot of bouncy houses kind of look like castles. You could do literally whatever you want. You could even make this bouncy house three times the size if you wanted. It's totally up to you.